about Obamacare, which you will hear nowhere else. May we have a moment of silence for our fallen general, oh, Andrew yeah. Breitbart. Yes. Now, we've talked about the war on stay-at-home moms. We've talked about the bogus war on women. Today I'm going to talk about Barack Obama's war on religious liberty. Yeah. If you remember when Obamacare passed, remember how they passed it? Not one Republican vote. Do you remember when they passed it? Christmas Eve 2009. Do you remember how they passed it? With the reconciliation process. Did you know the rules for the reconciliation process is that you can't pass any bills unless it's budget deficit neutral? Guess what we find out now? It's going to increase the deficit by $360 billion. That means that Obamacare was passed illegally. Which is why it must be repealed. Regarding the war on religious freedom, if you remember during the debate, Michelle Bachman was saying that Obamacare is going to force us to pay for abortions. And CNN started up their spin machine and said, oh, she's crazy, she's local. There's no abortion coverage in Obamacare. Are you 46 isn't covered? No, it isn't, CNN. You know what is? Ella and Plan B. Those are morning after abortion pills. And the Catholic Church, over 400 Catholic organizations, have not only said, no, we're not going to apply, hell no, we're not going to comply. <laughs> So we have a war on religious liberty from a president who has zero regard for the U.S. Constitution. Our First Amendment guarantees us religious liberty. This president has no concept of religious liberty. Then I want to go over our seniors because there is a war on senior citizens in this country. Our friends on the left, of which I have none, <laughs> like to tell us that we're going to put a commercial out, and the Republicans have changed Medicare as we know it. And we have a picture of a guy in a video who looks a lot like Paul Ryan pushing Grandma off the cliff. Let me tell you something. The guy pushing Grandma off the cliff looks a lot more like the cover of the guy in Mad Magazine, Alfred E. Newman. Barack Obama and the Democrat Party have already destroyed Medicare. I want you to change Paul Ryan's $500 billion number and change it to $4.95 trillion because that is how much Obamacare cuts from Medicare over the first 20 years, according to not a right-wing blogger, but the chief Medicare actuary, Richard Foster. Google it, Wall Street Journal, how Obamacare guts Medicare. But it's worse than that. Not only does he cut $4.95 trillion from Medicare, but he also reduces the amount that the government pays to doctors who take Medicare to less than what it currently pays doctors who take Medicaid today. If you're a doctor in Illinois, have you been paid lately by Medicaid? Do you know how dangerous that is for our nation's seniors? Let me tell you how dangerous it is. In 2005, the American Academy of Cardiology did a study, and they revealed that people who have surgery on Medicaid are 50% more likely to die after that surgery than people who have private health insurance. As soon as that study came out, the government said, we got to fix that. We can't have 50% more likely to die on Medicaid than private health insurance. So let's fast forward to 2009 when the University of Virginia did a follow-up study. Guess what the likelihood percentage-wise is today? 97% more likely to die on Medicaid than if you have private health insurance. And this is before we add 25 million people onto our already bankrupt Medicaid rolls. Sarah Palin said, death panel, can you? because that's exactly what it is. You betcha. And the president has done a phenomenal job of lying to the American people. In fact, he is the greatest liar since the father of the lie, and I do mean that in the biblical sense. Yes. 
<laughs> this man has lied to us from the State of the Union speech, saying a man from Downers Grove had his coverage canceled, his treatment delayed, and he died because of it. It's crap. The man from Downers Grove in Illinois had a policy from a sure health insurance company. He had a condition he didn't disclose on his application. They did a research. They found out that he had it. They considered rescinding his coverage. They considered it. He went to the State Department of Insurance. He went to the Attorney General's office and said, please tell this insurance company, Assured Health in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, don't cancel my coverage because I need a $200,000 bone marrow transplant. You want to know the truth? The truth is Assured Health Insurance Company never canceled his coverage. They paid his claim for four more years until he died. But the president lied to us during the State of the Union speech. He lies all the time. In fact, Tom Hanks just put a nice little documentary together for Barack Obama's re-election. The Road We've Traveled. And in it, he repeats, repeats a lie that was exposed in 2008 when Barack Obama said, my mom had her health insurance canceled because she had pre-existing conditions. Liar. He's a liar. That wasn't a health insurance policy, that was a disability policy. And you could say, our friends on the left, of which I have none, oh, Barack Obama didn't know that. <laughs> he didn't know it wasn't a disability policy. Guess who the attorney was that represented his mother on the disability policy? Barack Hussein Obama. So if you don't think your president is a bald-faced liar, I'm here to tell you he is. And I am sick and damned tired of being lied to by my president. And then he passes on August 1st, 2011, that every health insurance policy, including our Catholics, including every Christian, has to pay for abortion. Remember what he told stupid stupid? Obamacare will not cover abortion, we promise. Uh, in fact, let me write an executive order signed by Barack Obama, no abortion coverage. And then what did stupid stupid do and the blue dog Democrats from Michigan? They believed it, right? Guess what? Starting 2014, one dollar of every premium you pay to every health insurance company in this country will pay for abortions. And the legislation, remember August 1st? You Catholics, you got to pay for abortions. Guess what happened? The Catholic Church rose up, right? And said no. You know what Barack Obama's response was? You have one year to comply. You have one year to comply. Well, I have an answer for Barack Obama. Guess what? You got six months until we evict your Marxist quiche. I have had enough of being lied to by my president. And let me tell you something else. He demonized the health insurance company. You know why we have pre-existing conditions? Anybody know? You know whose fault it is? Try a lawyer. It's government's fault because they wrote 1996 HIPAA portability legislation which protects 90% of the American insured in this country today and has done it for 16 years. How do I know if you've got a group policy and you've been on it for 18 months and you go to another employee with a new group policy and you got less than 63 gap between those two group policies, what does the new employer have to do for you? He's got to cover all your pre-existing conditions. So why do we have pre-existing conditions? Because the mental midgets who wrote the legislation extended no portability protection to the individual policyholder. How do you fix pre-existing conditions? Follow the ball. Ready? All individual policies are now protected under existing HIPAA portability law. Does that take 2,700 pages? I don't think so. That takes one sentence. So what's the rest of the legislation about? Say it with me. Control. That's what it's about. And you want to know why the health insurance companies have so much money? Right? Remember how he demonized the evil health insurance company? They want to drop your coverage when you're sick. You know why health insurance premiums cost so much? Rewind to 1979. In 1979, we had 279 federally and state-imposed mandates on health insurance companies in this nation. Stating, if you're operating in Illinois, you got to cover cancer. Okay, that's fine. Great. Now fast forward another 17 years. Guess how many we have now? We have 2,100 mandates placed on every health insurance company in this country. 2,100 post-Obamacare. That sounds like a lot. I'm a visual guy. I brought them with me. 
This is why health insurance costs so much damn money in this country. And is it all medically necessary? No. I don't have the proper plumbing to have a child. Guess what? Illinois, you're paying a lot more for your health insurance because of infertility. Guess what else? Massage therapy. Hair plugs. Why are we paying for Joe Biden's hair plugs? Guess what? We got ripped off. I'm going to close with this. We have lost 20 health insurance companies in this nation since Barack Obama signed Obamacare. Do you know why? Because on 9-23-2010, he imposed the onerous medical loss ratios. That states that if you are a health insurance company that underwrites 50 or more people, you have to reduce your operating margin, not your profit margin, your operating margin, down to 15%. So what had happened to the small companies who had to reduce theirs down to 20%? They went out of business. And if you think premiums went down, remember what Barack Obama said? I'm going to lower the premium for the family of four by $2,500. That's why we need Obamacare. He lied. He lied. Here's proof. Blue Cross, Blue Shield. These are my clients. Historical rate increases, 8 to 10%. Look what we got here. Blue Cross Blue Shield renewal, 44.78% more <laughs> since 9-23-2010. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois, 35.63% more. And you know what happens when a company raises premiums? You think that employer's going to keep paying 45% more? You think he might dump some employees off his plan and leave them out in the cold like they did in Texas, Massachusetts? I can tell you it's already happening. And what happens when a company like Guarantee Trust Life Insurance Company decides to stop offering health insurance in Illinois? My client who I met with 11 years ago who bought an HSA qualified plan did the right thing for 11 years and put money away on a tax deferred basis to pay for her future medical expenses. Guess what happened? Thanks to Barack Obama's Obamacare, GTL decided to stop selling health insurance. Here's the love letter they sent to her. Will I be offered a replacement plan? Yes, we're required by law in the terms of your policy to offer you replacement coverage because it's illegal to drop somebody's coverage when they're sick. They can only do it in cases of fraud. Your new deductible on your new replacement plan will be $25,000 per person. Why does it matter to her? Because 11 years after doing the right thing for 11 years straight, she was stricken with infiltrating ductal carcinoma and knew that she had a $5,000 deductible for her family and 100% coverage afterward. Now I had to take her off the plan because she can't afford to pay $20,000 more for her ongoing oncology visits, radiation therapy, and she had to go into our state high-risk health insurance pool. Wow. Guess how much it covered lifetime maximum? One million dollars, which means she lost seven million dollars of coverage because of Obamacare. What can you do to stop this tyrannical legislation? Truthaboutobamacare.com has the phone numbers to the Supreme Court justices to let them know what you think about this legislation. And then I want you to support every candidate in this state who pledges to repeal Obamacare. Woo! Every single one of them. Thank you for listening.